Hey everybody, the first object I created in ZBrush 4R7 that I uploaded to Unreal Engine 4 was a complete success and I'm going to illustrate that right now. Okay, now anybody that has a subscription to UE4 or just has UE4 Unreal Engine 4 to make their own games, you can use ZBrush to model any type of object and import into Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so in the past, I I would take you know the time to model like uh, really wicked hammer like this, and then um, if I wanted to paint a texture on it, um, I would just you know you can't really wait. Oh, wrong sub tool. You can't um, uh, BCB. Uh, you can't paint that great of a texture. That that's not very easy to see. Um, but I learned how to take a high resolution uh, mesh or image and put it on a low poly object like this, kind of like. Kind of like this. So now I'm able to import into Unreal Engine 4 objects that have textures just like this. Guess how many polygons this has? Uh, over a million. But I'm going to show you how to um, take this texture image and if we go to the geometry tab and Select the right subtool. Right, okay. Geometry. This has eight subdivisions. If we bring that all the way back down to one, we have something similar to our previous object. And I could un import this into Unreal Engine 4, but that doesn't look too exciting to you or the player who would be playing your game. So, I'm going to show you the steps I use to make this possible. Okay, so once you create a high resolution texture like this, then lower the subdivision levels, nice, to one, giving you this, and then open UV map, you open UV map, okay, and then change the texture size. 2048 that looks pretty good so click that and then open the create pick UV mapping style you want um, I use UV planar but you could use something else UV cylindrical uh, UV spherical uh, fiber mesh I'm not sure how that works but anyway okay let's move on so you, you pick the UV tiling you want so UV planar and then open your texture map okay and then create a new texture ah what happened to my texture it's it's gone oh it's it's cool it's it's uh, there then open geometry raise the subdivision level to maximum okay um then open texture map Let's see, okay, texture map, and uh, under uh, the, let's see, under create, choose new from polypaint, oh yeah, create, new from polypaint, ta-da, it's not perfect, but UV planners, it, um, you would have to use a different uh, UV tiling system, but we have our high resolution the high resolution texture now okay and then at uh choose and then uh clone texture clone texture that doesn't look okay that that's good clone texture and then open geometry okay then lower the subdivision level watch this 
It's still there. It's still there. I was so excited when this happened to me the first time. I thought I was gonna never going to create it again, and I don't know. So let's uh, shift F to show our frames. Uh, let's shift F. Oh, huh. I'm not sure why I can't see that very well. <clears throat> um, I don't know. It's it's there. I promise. And then you can uh, go to the Z plugin, drag this over to the right. Okay. Then open up the FBX export import. This is great for Unreal Engine 4 because you can uh, transfer the texture over like this. Okay, uh, right, that looks good. Export. Okay, pictures, just because it's easy to find. Uh, hammer. Blah, blah. Okay, that's good. I like that. Hammer blah. Okay, then, file exported. I'm using Windows 10, so I've got a really fancy, easy to see um, application switch. Okay, then we go into Unreal Engine 4, and I've got a new game file. So we can play this, and, you know, we're in a game. X out of that, and then let's go over here. Let's create a new folder FBX. This is what I do. Okay, it's empty. And then import pictures. Uh, hammer or something. Hammer blah. Hammer, hammer blah. There it is. Okay. Open. Watch this. Okay. Keep it. Import all. NK, uh, that's good. Ta da. Very small. I imported a small mesh because Z, ZBrush doesn't really. Um, have the same um, unit system as Unreal Engine 4, so I would have to uh, go back into Unreal, or sorry, uh, ZBrush, and size this up. Uh, let's see, uh, de deformation, uh, size, repeat, 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 F to frame, that is a whole lot bigger. Trust me. Okay, then we would re import it in here, but I'm just going to show you what we made. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> um, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. So, okay. Really wish I didn't. Let's re import it. Okay, then frame. Ta da! Oh, let's uh, scale this up a little bit. Blah. Okay, save yourself. Okay, scale, 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 moving out, scale up, up, this is a really small object, okay, it's getting a little bigger, a little bigger, I'm going to change my uh, camera speed, okay, little bigger okay uh, F to frame and I used UV planer so that is like this side and then the other side so it's not a perfect texture but I was able to import the high resolution textures on a low poly uh, object. So let's go into the texture or thing. Frame. Isn't that sweet? Frame. This has just a few sides. Pretty intense. Nice. If anybody wants to see another object imported into Unreal Engine 4 from ZBrush using this same technique and you want to get a little closer look at it, Please subscribe and uh, comment below. Thanks, everybody.